BDC, very important. BTC. Okay. BTC is going to be very, very important topic of our discussion. And so much, so many questions are frequently, you know, asked from the BDC. And this is interesting also, you know, this is very, very interesting and very, very conceptual, uh, this BDC. Okay. So here, what are the BDC display modes? So if you know about the BDC already, right? This is for the data migration purpose, or if you want to automate any transaction in your program, right? So if you want to do something programmatically, if you want to automate some data upload with a, uh, through, through some transaction, then we go to the BDC approach, right? So that's the basic idea of the BDC. So mainly that is used for the data migration purpose, right? And if you want to automate some transaction for that purpose, it is used. Good Rajesh. So there are there are three displays mode. What are what are the BDC display mode? When this BDC display mode come into the picture, when you are going to use the call transaction or session method. So what are the different types of you know method for the BDC? Tell me the BDC is having what are the different types of method? The first one is Go ahead and write it over here. Session and then other one, call transaction, awesome. So call transaction and session method, there are two methods in this BDC, call transaction, right? Call transaction and the second is the session method. Now tell me, this display mode are available in both call transaction or session method you know my question is this display mode these all three display modes are available in both call transaction and session method or only in call transaction or only in session method give your answer yes no simply you know or call transaction yeah you just write over here both or you write call transaction or session method over here. So her case is writing only in call transaction. Other people be participative. There is not like, you know, uh, if we're going to tell it wrong over here, uh, something will happen, but no, just we are going to engage. Engagement is the key over here, focus. So right or wrong does not matter. Okay, so Umprakas is writing call transaction. Vishal is also writing call transaction, right? But this is not true, right? In session method also, you have the option, right? If you go to the SM35, you will get over there A, E and N option, right? So in SM35 also, if you go over there, right? There also you get the option to run the transaction, correct? A, E and N option is also there in SM35, correct? So in both the places, this is there in session method and call transaction at both the places, it will be there. I will show you, let me connect with my system. So once your session is created, which transaction we go and look out the session which is created. Once you create the session, which is the transaction where you go and see that the session has been created and from there you manually execute the session, write the name of the transaction, just I have told you also, okay. Which is the transaction where we have to go for the session method? No, no one? Write some transaction at least. Yeah, very good. Vishal Madhu, SM35. So SM35 is the transaction where we go and you know, uh, execute this one. So let me show you over here.
so sm35 if you go over here in the transaction sm35 right uh then you can see that there are so many uh, session over here already and if i <laughs> select any of uh, one of the session and click on this process right here you can see that process foreground display errors only and background right so a e and n so n means what none none means display you know means uh, a n means uh, uh none of the screen means in background it's going to this going to execute and e means only when error is going to come right and a means process or foreground so all the screen is going to means one by one one by one so here also you are having the processing modes right here also we are having the processing modes so and this is the session method right this is the session method so this a e and n right a e and n uh here all display the screen in case of error so in the session method you are having foreground right and e means only in case of error and n stands for none that means the background so the name is different but uh, this is the same okay so a e n both the uh, these options are there in both call transaction and session method so this is the important question over here what are the different display modes this question is very important a e and n remember this one what are the bdc update modes what are the different types of update modes you have so synchronous and asynchronous